Yes guys, it's not a clickbait. The reason you clicked on this video is true. After this tutorial, you will all be able to generate AI images for free using N8N. So let's jump straight to it. First of all, you will have to log in to your N8N account if you're using their cloud subscription. Or you can jump to your N8N self-hosted server to use it for free. Now, if you don't know how to self-host N8N for free, I already made a video previously on how to do just that. So feel free to watch it by clicking on the card in the top right corner. Now, after you opened your N8N account, just create a new workflow or navigate to the workflow you want to add your AI image generation to. For my case, I have created a new workflow. So now either click on add first step or right click and click on add node. We will start by giving our user a space to write his image generation prompt. So for that, look for form and click on N8N form. After that, click on on new N8N form. Now you can configure your form. Just give it a title and a description. Add a field for the user, his image generation prompt. For the element type, select text area. And then in the placeholder, just specify for the user to know. And then set it to required. After that, we now have our form. So when we click test step, we will be redirected to this form. Let's test it and then submit. And you will see that on N8N, we received the entry here. Now we will have to make it so when the user inputs his prompt, it will be generated. So for this, we will be using Flux AI from Hugging Face. Here's the Hugging Face page for Flux AI. And we will be using this model to generate our images for free. Now we will go back to our automation and click on add a new node. Look for HTTP as we will be communicating with the model from Hugging Face through an API call. So look for HTTP request click on it now we will have to configure our api call in the url we will be pasting the url for the hugging face endpoint here's the url feel free to pause the video and copy it and then we will have to add our authentication select generic credential type and then for the generic auth type select header auth and then here create a new credential for the name you will have to input authorization and then for the value you will have to input your hugging face api key if you don't know how to get your hugging face api key all you have to do is just log into a hugging face account and then on the top right corner click on your profile image and then go to access tokens and here click on create new token choose the token type to find grained or write if you choose find grain just give it a name and then Make sure to select all these three inference types and then click on create token. Just copy it, click done and then go back to your N8N and for this you will have to enter bearer and then space and then paste your key here and then click save. You will get credentials successfully created. Just close this and then here go to send headers and for the body we will have to select send body as well for the body content type just select json and specify body using fields below now for the body parameters just add a new item called inputs and then for the value just map the prompt for the user you will find it here make sure to execute the form first and then map it by dragging it and dropping it in the value and then click save before we continue with this video make sure to subscribe to the channel as that will help us a lot thank you now after doing that we will have to save our images somewhere right because we're going with a free approach we will use google drive to save our images so click on add node here and look for google drive click on google drive and then upload a file for this you will have to create a credential as well so go to create new credential choose oauth2 now to get the client id and the client secret you will have to follow the tutorial that n8n has already provided just click on it and you will find a detailed tutorial on how to do just that i will briefly show you what to do now first you will have to create the project just follow the tutorial from n8n and after you do that, you will be redirected to the project page. As you can see here, I created a project called N8N Test. Now you will have to go to OAuth Consent screen and then click on Create OAuth Client. For this, you will have to specify your application type and then give it a name. And then for the authorized redirect URIs, just click on Add URI. Go back to N8N, copy this link and then paste it here. And then click on create. You will get your client ID. Just click on OK. Now click on N8N image or the project you have created. OK, you will find it here. You will get your client ID and client secret. So copy the client ID. Paste it here. And then copy the client secret. And paste it here. After you do that, 
a button will appear here saying sign in with Google. Just click on it and then sign in with your Google account. You will get this message. Just click on continue. Give all the permissions and then click continue again. And now you have successfully linked your account. Now there is one more step to do. Just go back to your Google Cloud console and then for audience go here and then click on test users. Add a new user. Just put in your Gmail account. And click on save. Now you have granted yourself the user permission. And then after you add your test user, just go on the search field here and look for Drive API. Click on it and then you will be redirected to this page. Just click on enable. Wait for it to install. And then just like that, you have now configured your Google Drive account into N8N. Just go back here, open the node and let's configure it together. Leave all of these above to default. And then for file name, just give your file a unique name for this. Just go to your form, add form element, and let the user decide what is the name he wants to input there. Make it required, and then put it on top, and then save it. And then go back to your Google Drive. Let's execute previous notes so we'll be able to map them into here. So do this. Okay, we got an error, my bad. This should be lowercase input. Go here, execute previous notes. Click on submit. Wait for it to execute. And then here we go. We got it. In the file name, just put JSON name to get it from the form. And then in the drive, select my drive. And then select the folder you want to input your images to. For me, I created a folder inside my Google Drive account called images. So select it. And then let's run our workflow. So for this. Playing. And then submit. Wait for it to execute. Now go to your drive folder. And then you will find the image you have generated inside your folder. And just like that, guys, you now know how to generate images using N8N for free. If you enjoyed and found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will be seeing you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.